Thank you very much, General. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, all you do uh, for the infrastructure uh, in this country and otherwise. One of the consistent complaints that I hear from businesses uh, and even governmental entities around uh, the country is, give us some rules uh, and we'll do our best to comply with them. Don't change the rules in the, uh, in the middle of the game. Uh, I'm co-chairman of the Texas Maritime Conference, used to uh, represent Brownsville, Texas until uh, redistricting and, uh, and still actively involved in all the ports along the uh, Texas coast. And it was kind of disturbing uh, to hear from Brownsville that it looks like the Corps is uh, moving the goalposts uh, on Brownsville. Let me give you a little bit of uh, background. The uh, Port of Brownsville is working on the Brazos Island Harbor Project, which is basically a widening and deepening project that's been going on now for about seven years. I'm a frequent visitor to the uh, Port of Brownsville uh, back when I represented it and, uh, and after. It's you know, one of the poorest and most underdeveloped areas of our country near the U.S.-Mexico uh, border. And this deepening project will be hugely beneficial. It uh, looks like the cost-benefit ratio on that exceeds uh, six to one. And it's my understanding that there's a very clean draft chief's report, uh, and it's tracking to be final in September of 2014. But we recently found out that the Corps unilaterally decided to uh, not go by the management protocol agreement between the National Marine Fisheries Service and the Corps. This is an agreement from December 29th of 2006. And the uh, Corps is uh, changing how they're interpreting that, and it looks like they're getting a potential biological uh, problem. The port tells me they've worked hard with the Corps on uh, these and other environmental issues uh, over the past, specifically the green turtle is an example where uh, Brownsville has uh, worked very well together with the Corps for many, for many years. Uh, we're, I guess my, my question is, how are we, why are we shifting the rules now? Are you, are you aware of that and is there a reason we're doing that? Congressman, the first I became aware of uh, this issue w was this morning, so unfortunately I am not familiar with the details. Uh, however, I'm going to follow up immediately following this, uh, uh, this hearing and uh, check with the Southwestern Division. I am familiar with the project. Right. Um, in, in fact, uh, we had hoped to have a Civil Works Review Board already before now, a, a few months ago. There were some uh, delays. In fact, I asked uh, General Kula, uh, the Southwestern Division commander, to do a detailed root cause analysis of uh, the reasons for the delays from the project. He has done that, and, and that information we are using to, uh, to contribute to the current analysis that we're doing to potentially make adjustments to some of the specifics on how we execute planning yeah. and, modernization. And I, I I'm going to have to follow up with you, sir, to, to get to your uh, concern. And, and, and I would appreciate that. <laughs> I guess there's a delicate balance to strike. You know, if we want to streamline things and uh, do our job better, faster, and more efficiently, we sometimes have got to change the way we do things. But when we change the way we do things, if we move the goalposts as part of that, uh, that runs up the cost for everything. And obviously, you know, there's, there's a cost associated with going through all of the, uh, all of the process, both for the core and for uh, whatever entity, be it a public entity or, you know, uh, whomever, it's trying to, uh, to, to deal with the core. And, and obviously costs go up as the delays go down. I think if you look at what this committee has been trying to do, whether it's MAP 21 with highways or what we passed out in WERDA, we want to protect the environment. We, we, we want to do things safely. We want to get the job done, but we don't want to uh, have unnecessary delay. There, there's cost involved in that. And so uh, you know, my request to you is that uh, you, you keep that in mind in, uh, in all that you're doing, not just the uh, Port of Brownsville. And my final question will be, what can we do to help you get uh, your job done uh, in a better and faster uh, manner? That's a great question, sir. Um, you know, there's been great collaboration and uh, engagement with the Congress on what we're doing. I think the most important thing is to, uh, to work closely with us to understand what it is that we are doing, to understand what the successes are, and, uh, and understand, you know, why sometimes things don't go as people uh, would like. Uh, we do need a little tactical patience. Uh, the effort we're undergoing is going to take months and years to determine how well things are working. 
Um, and, and so just continued engagement, would, I think, would be the most important thing, Congressman. Again, thank you. I see my time has expired, so uh, I'll yield back.